family fights, usually private affairs, but leave it to the Democrats to exploit that drama for political gain. Team Biden pitting sibling against sibling, rolling out the Kennedy family to officially endorse Joe Biden and trip up RFK Jr.'s campaign. My name is Joe Kennedy. I'm Carrie Kennedy. I'm Troy Kennedy. I'm Kathleen Kennedy Townsend. Chris Kennedy. And I'm here to proudly endorse Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. When I think of modern politicians in our country in this century, I think Joe Biden is the RFK of his generation. Mm. <laughs> Biden has good reason to be worried. RFK Jr. just secured ballot access in the pivotal battleground state of Michigan. Joe's campaign also busy trying to convince us that his brain's fine. Check out their new ad. It's literally called Sharp. I've been a proud steel worker for 23 years, and I know hard work when I see it. I love to tell the story about meeting President Biden because when you meet him, this guy's as sharp as a knife. <laughs> so they had to spend millions of dollars for that. You could also just be sharp and save the money. I love that that, <laughs> that, that, that man part of the, I, this is what I cut. They're, this is what they have to sell now in campaign ads. That is sharp. Um, I, I was watching Martha's Hour and the 3 o'clock hour, and she had this great political panel on. I think Clay Travis was involved. And, it like, it devolved into, like, who's going to stay awake? I mean, I guess because, you know, they're going after Trump for apparently sleeping and falling asleep in court. And, you know, I guess kind of funny, but not. Are, are we getting to this point? And, Harold, I don't know if that's a huge, a huge selling point, that he's sharp. He's running for president. Sharp. No, I, look... <laughs> I think two things, and I said yesterday on the show, I, I would give him yesterday's performance, I think, in Pennsylvania was, I'd give him a B. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think what he needs is reps. He doesn't, and, and part of the concern that some may have, uh, Sandra and CT over there, uh, uh, imitating what reps look like, he needs uh, to demonstrate to the country and perhaps to his team what, he, what he's good at over the next several months when he's out. He's not necessarily great at going into a Wawa uh, alone um, he's there. I believe that's the new mayor of Philadelphia, who is a dynamic and unbelievable uh, person. What she ran on was getting public safety better and improving uh, the life in Philadelphia for everyday Philadelphians. I'd have been out with her looking at some program or initiative that she's kicked off, whether it's with the police or in a neighborhood, trying to understand better what she's doing and then letting her say, because of what you're doing, Mr. President, we can do this. But doing these kinds of things, this is not going to work alone. But him being out, give him the reps. And let's figure out um, where he's best, what he's able to point to that's working, and how can people around him interact with him and interface with him better. Uh, but as we sit here right now, the sharp add along is not going to work. I would agree with you. Tyrus, how he, awkward is that family situation now? I have been on the headset with headquarters trying to find the right thing to say <laughs> without getting in trouble. And all I can say is the optics are bad, yeah. uh, really bad. It's uh, That speech was worse than the red curtain speech. But, you know, uh, I have a commercial coming out next month where I talk about when I met Joe Biden and he had a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> and it was wonderful, and he he breathed unassisted the whole time. The whole time? Yes, and it was, at one point he went, <sighs> and I went, you got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> He's sharp. That's what you say about the one son, one of your kids that eats paint. <laughs> you know, and everyone else is like, he's, he's not, but he's your kid and you love him. He's sharp. Yeah. yeah. He's clever. Granddad's sharp. He's, yeah, granddad's he's sharp. sharp. Oh, he's, yeah. He's, he's still a, got it. He's a whip. He's, he's whip a smart. Point. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's still got it every between the hours of three and five o'clock. <laughs> it's like time stopped. Yeah. My dad used to say, she's a good eater about yeah. me. She's yeah. a good yeah. eater. Yeah. I ate a lot. <laughs> um, but, okay. Respectfully, Harold, when you say this man needs some more reps, He's been, he's been in public service for 50 years. What do you mean, another 50 years of more reps? I think it's quite clear. Too many reps. Okay, that's rude. Yeah, he doesn't have 50 years. Yeah, he's just utterly <laughs> failing, and he trots out. The Kennedy family resurrects this relic of a family to try to save him. So he is hitting the panic button. It is so clear. And in their statement, I found so laughable, where they said he was, he was encapsulated by love and wisdom and compassion. You're telling me someone, someone has compassion when he tells black voters they're not black if he doesn't vote for him? He calls Republicans Neanderthals. He cusses out voters for daring to ask about unions. You cite his wisdom, referring to dead leaders, you mean? Alert and oriented times zero? Like, it is a joke that they are trying to emperor's new clothes. This commander-in-chief that has no vertebrae, no backbone whatsoever, and clearly no strategy, okay. because right now it's just, I love Hamas and free school, and how do we get Gen Z back? Because the reality is, with RFK in the mix, 
RFK Jr., we know Trump wins Georgia, Trump wins PA, and that might be why even Newsweek had a headline that said, why Gen Z loves RFK Jr. To say he doesn't have a backbone is rude. You know that his family member was attacked by cannibals. That was just <laughs> gone too far. Maybe mm -hmm. it was eaten A step also. too Wait, far. Yeah. This, this is a tight race, and it's going to get tighter. Shark so we'll race. Yes. And, and, like, sharp race. It's going to be sharp. It's going to be Paper cut on a Sunday. Edge. Great song. Such a Album. good eater. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.